So I've been thinking, <sighs> what now? Do you still love me? What? I mean, we don't never go out no more. <sighs> you don't make time for me. I mean, what's up? I don't know. I've been busy parenting, working. I don't really have much time. Well, you need to make time. I matter. Yeah, you matter, but you strong. You don't need my attention all the time. You know what? You are just so selfish. I am leaving you. Oh, where are you going to go? Oh, oh, yeah, I want me to don't talk to me. Go ahead and free yourself. If you don't want me, then don't talk to me. I'll be all right. Go ahead and swallow me. All right, go on somewhere. Please. Back up. What's up, y'all? It's me, the hobbyist. How you doing? How you doing? Where you at? What it do? 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 As y'all can see in the beginning, I almost lost my bitch, y'all. She almost just left out my life, but I got her back. I got her back because I had to put her first, you know? Like Jaheem said, if she started bringing up some, some, and the fights keep getting worse. You better put that one on first. Let me tell you how I got her back. What I had to do, I had to start making her a priority. And that girl is me. It was me, y'all. I don't know if y'all could tell. That was me. Two times. That was me. Let me put y'all up on game on how to put you first. Let me teach you how to prioritize yourself. So often we can get lost in our roles in the world. Role of parent, worker, dishwasher, cook, cleaning person. People call it a maid. Caregiver. We can get so lost in those titles that we forget who numero uno is. Who numero uno sh I can't speak Spanish. We forget who's number one. Number one is you. Me in this instance. I'm number one to me, you number one to you. That's how it should be, boo, period. It's so easy to neglect yourself when you have so many responsibilities in this world. For me, as a mother of two toddlers, it gets real hard, cause they always pulling you in each direction. Every time you sit down, they need something else. It's crazy. So to balance everything out in my life, I came up with a few ways that I prioritize my day to add me to my to-do list. First things first, I think about the tasks that must be accomplished every day. You know, there's always a list of things that happen every day, regardless of anything else. Things like personal hygiene, eating, all the basic necessities of life, those things gotta happen every day. Secondary things that people try to prioritize are like cleaning up around the house and taking care of other chores. Those types of things, I set a schedule for. There aren't things that need to be done every single day in order for me to survive and to live a happy life. Every other day, once a week, are appropriate for things like doing laundry, sweeping the floor, things of that nature. When I'm really feeling overwhelmed, those things get put to the side to make sure that I'm able to accomplish all the things that need to be done. After I differentiate between those things, I like to think about the non-responsible things that I do that can be eliminated. Things like strolling on social media or watching TV for countless hours. I cut stuff like that out when I feel like I'm losing myself. I always try to put my needs above temporary entertainment because in the long run, building myself up is more important than watching a few people be goofy. Those are all temporary things the last seconds in my brain but putting myself first and making steps towards being a more fulfilled person that is priceless i also give myself permission to relax i'm a very anxious overactive over imaginary overachieving overthinking ass person so a lot of times if i have any moments to myself where i'm not doing anything tangible i feel like i'm not doing enough so I have to grow into the fact that it is okay and absolutely appropriate to relax from time to time. It's so important to decompress. That's why getting a hobby is so important. Take your decompression time and apply it to something that makes you feel relaxed and calm. I have plenty of hobbies, journaling, drawing, listening to music, creating content. The list goes on and on because you guys know I am the hobbyist. So I do. And yeah, it's really easy for me to sit here and tell you that it's important for you to prioritize yourself. A lot of times it's easier said than done. I don't know your exact situation. I don't know what you go through in your life. 
You may have things that require immediate attention all around the clock. But even if you could take 15 minutes to yourself a day to just silence everything, you're making yourself a priority. Do the best you can to keep your mental health in check until we meet again. Am I going to do this at the end of videos? I don't know. Until we meet again, it's me, the hobbyist, and I am here to talk about shit occasionally. Peace. Thank you.